Detective John Smith had been called in to investigate the disappearance of a diamond necklace belonging to Mrs. Mary Parker. It had been reported missing a few days ago and Mrs. Parker was desperate to have it returned. Detective Smith had been assigned to the case and was eager to solve it as quickly as possible. He had a hunch that the culprit was someone close to Mrs. Parker and he was determined to uncover the truth. He began his investigation by talking to Mrs. Parker's family and friends. H. He asked questions about her daily routine and who she had been spending time with recently. After a few hours of questioning, he had a few leads but nothing concrete. He decided to explore the area around Mrs. Parker's home to see if he could find any clues. He searched the grounds of the house and the surrounding areas but found nothing. He then decided to take a look inside the house. He searched every room and eventually found something strange in the bedroom. There was a small box with a hid. N compartment that contained a diamond necklace. Detective Smith was sure this was the missing necklace but he still wasn't sure who had taken it. He decided to question the family and friends again. This time he asked more specific questions and asked him to provide alibis for the night of the theft. After a few more hours of questioning, Detective Smith had narrowed down the list of suspects to two people, Mrs. Parker's son, Robert, and her best friend, Lillian. He asked them both for alibis F. Or the night of the theft but neither had an alibi that was strong enough to clear them. Detective Smith decided to do some more digging and eventually uncovered a secret that Robert had been keeping from his mother. He had been gambling and had racked up a huge debt. He had been desperate to get money to pay the debt and had stolen his mother's necklace. Detective Smith confronted Robert with the evidence and he eventually admitted to the crime. He was arrested and the necklace was returned to Mr. S. Parker. She was relieved to get her necklace back and thanked Detective Smith for his hard work. Detective Smith had solved the case of the missing diamond necklace and he was satisfied with a job well done. He had put in a lot of hard work and dedication to find the truth and it had paid off. He was proud of himself for a job well done.